And now we are taking you to the third graphic organizer in our third episode. We've already told you that graphic organizers are very important tools for teachers to learn and to practice because our brain stores images and pictures and that is the way we store information. We do not have lists or words written anywhere. We have webs which are all neurons firing together through neural pathways and neural networks. And this is the way we store information. So it's a good idea to teach through pictures and images which are arranged graphically. And we have been recommending six graphic organizers to you. We've already talked about the Venn diagram and the fishbone. And today we're talking about the timeline. Okay. Now again, the timeline uh, also is a chronological plotting of events. A chronological plotting of events. In the Venn diagram, we discussed concepts of comparing and contrasting, and we also talked about the fishbone analysis, which was about cause and effect analysis. This one is plotting of events according to their occurrence in time. Of course, it lends itself very beautifully to history, but it also lends itself to many other subjects. For example, there is a history of computers from Charles Babbage to Alexa. There is a history of economics, there is a history of music, history of sports, history of painting, about everything you could probably plot the events on a timeline, including history of poetry, chayavad, romanticism, all of that can be plotted on a timeline. Let me see what I have for you though. Today I thought I'll talk about, let's go back and think about transport and human beings always wanted to move from one place to another. So I'm taking you way back to 20,000 BCE, not teaching you history, but showing you how a timeline should be done. So you plot the picture, the event and the date. And this way it becomes easier for the students to absorb the information pictorially also. And they remember how far back are we talking about? This is the way you create a sense of history among students rather than just memorizing facts and dates. So then we, of course, domesticated the horse. We then re we invented the wheel sometime in 3000 BCE. And that was not in India, okay? It was in Mesopotamia because we found the wheel in Indus Valley, clay carts and other things, which means it was already there. Then, of course, the catamarans. We also talk about canals. Now we move to 800 BCE because I have to cover a lot of ground on simply one slide, okay? And then the China started sta sailing ships and Europe followed suit later. Later, we had the submarine, but as far back as actually 1620, you might be thinking, Abhi, Abhi ki baat hai. And then the public bus, so we were driving a public bus in England. If you're fond of Sherlock Holmes, you would have seen a lot of these public buses where he's coming uh, to his home in Baker Street on a bus. And then, who can forget, we have read about Wright Brothers and the hot air balloons. So then human beings have conquered the waters, they conquered the land. Right now the water and the land with animals, so they also took the hot air balloons. And then the railways, the steam engine came. Sometimes it seems that there was a car before, a motor car. But actually the rail engine, steam engine came first, then the bicycle. The safety bicycle, motorcycle, uske baad, Ford Motors brought up the motor, the cars. Okay? That was in 1908, pehle ki baad, that the motor car came and of course then we had the flight. So conquering the skies. But remember the dates and the picture and the event is important on a timeline. Because when you make a graphical representation of all this together, students would be able to recall, remember, Forever, it will go into the long-term memory. And the last thing is the satellite in 1935. This is the way a timeline is plotted. I am showing you something horizontal. You can also do it vertical. Let me show you one more. That was transport. Now I thought we'll talk about evolution of communication. So I'm not taking history. Janbush ke nahi liya. Sabko lagta hai ki timeline. Matlab sirf itihas. But there is a history of everything. So I thought let me do something fun with GIFs for communication. So cave paintings was one way in which human beings wanted to communicate their thoughts. We have so many cave paintings. In India, we have Bhim Betka in Madhya Pradesh, but we have them all over the world. Then the carrier pigeons came, 766 BCE. I'm jumping many years because I'm on one slide. Then the marathon man in Greece, pigeon ke ko chhoda, and people were running with letters, okay, to give from one place to the other. Yehi se Olympics ki bhi shurvat hui thi, from Greece from the marathon man. Then we brought out the daily newspaper, mark the dates. And then we said the telegraph and the telephone, mark the dates. 
Then the radio signal also came and we started communicating through the radio. Okay. The television broadcast, if you have been, if you have as much silver in your hair as I do, you might also remember that black and white TV aise hi dikhta tha. You know, there would be all snow in India and koi buzurg bolte nahi jao bache upar antenna cheek kar ke And that was our job to sort of arrange the antenna so that the picture came. We have moved away from that. 1927, in India it came much later. And then we had the World Wide Web, instant messaging service, Facebook in 2004, all this is communication. And this is the way we are plotting it on a timeline to show the students that human beings always wanted to communicate with each other. That's a very social need that we have, you know, of socially interaction. That is why Facebook and WhatsApp is so popular, because you think you're talking to someone. And here, look at the irony. We had the carrier pigeons in 776 BCE, and today also we are back to Twitter, okay, in 2006 onwards. So this is the way human beings have evolved in communication. A timeline shows the evolution of an idea and the events which you're plotting along that line. Okay? So that's all we have to show you. If you like what we are presenting through Shikshangan, do like and subscribe to our channel. We have lots coming up for you. Do also tap the bell so that you can get constant updates from us. Signing off. Thank you.